Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Klozewski card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is four star, four star, six foot one height with a high medium work rate. So uh, they actually improved his skill moves from a three star to a four star, which is definitely going to be a very nice thing to have. Uh, in regards to his in-game abilities, he's got 93 acceleration with 92 sprint speed. For base card stats, very good. You don't necessarily need to improve that because... Uh, the main stats that we need to improve for a card like Kolozewski is going to be his shooting and his dribbling as much as possible. Uh, if we take a look at his base card stats for shooting, they're actually not that bad, right? He's got 90, 86, 84, 94 long shots with 91 composure. So with the finisher chemistry style, boosting the agility, balance, and finishing stats as much as possible, his shooting should be very good. Now, obviously, the card does not have any of the important traits like outside foot shot traits or the finesse shot traits so that will be noticeable in game those traits are a huge deal in fifa nowadays in regards to being able to hit those consistent strikes right uh in regards to his passing stats he actually has very good passing stats so with a card like this it looks like you can use him in any of the attacking positions because even if i want to use him in the cam position the only thing that's going to be really missing in the dribbling department with this card is going to be balance but if you take a look at his base card stats, he already has 93, 96, 93 for those stats to compensate for the agility and balance being the way that it is. Uh, in regards to physical, he's got 84 strength with 94 stamina. Now, the main things that we have to test out with Kulazewski's card is obviously shooting from certain angles, whether the finesse shots can work really nicely. Those ones are always based off of uh, certain touches that come off and certain angles that you're taking those finesse shots in. But another big thing that we are going to be testing is obviously going to be his dribbling to body type because the fact that he is a high and average plus player, right, with dribbling stats at 83 agility, 83 balance, while giving him the finisher chemistry style mainly, it's definitely going to be very important to see how he performs in game. Now, when I was initially doing the review for this card, some of the gameplay you guys are going to see is actually with the anchor chemistry style at first because we were doing the Kamavinga review and I think my boy was using uh, Kulazewski as a left wing back with an anchor chemistry style. So you'll be able to see his dribbling differences between both of the games, right? But it's pretty obvious that most people are going to be giving him a finisher chemistry style. An engine, engine I wouldn't give. It's it's 100% a finisher flex for sure. So um, yeah, the way that we are going to be lined up with Kulazewski in game is going to be in two different positions uh, because we're going to be testing out his attacking AI where he's like kind of transitioning around the pitch. Uh, it's going to be with the 3-5-2 tactics. We're going to be using him as a striker as well as a cam. So we'll probably be rotating between the two. Uh, I may switch him off to the right side, but... In a formation like this, uh, it's a good way to test out his attacking AI to see how he moves across the pitch and how he adapts to certain situations. So, um, yeah, the biggest thing that we have to test with this card is the two things, attacking AI, shoot, well, shooting for the most part for certain situations, and then his body type to dribbling stats as well. So let's get into a game and see how he plays. Ooh, nicely done, my boy. Good stuff. Let's go. Man, when gameplay is fast and responsive, it's a different game. You see how fast, like, everyone's just doing stuff? It's amazing. Ooh, Kulosevsky, Kulosevsky, jeez, man. You know what I'm noticing with this card a lot, man? He's always getting into the right positions. In that striker position, he's doing a really good job. Kind of like real life, because he usually plays that 4-4-2 next to uh, Ronaldo. Sometimes Morata as well. That attacking AI is really nice with him, man. I actually like it a lot. I wanted to do a first time fake shot right there, but it registered in a direction randomly. I think I actually did that mistake myself, to be honest. Ooh, I almost got that shot across right there. You see how like his body type influences his dribbling a little bit? 
it's not necessarily that big of a deal because his body type allows him to kind of, you know, block out the ball in certain situations against the defenders to potentially score some opportunities, right? So he does really well right there. I'm going to see if I can get a nice little penalty here with him if he actually has some good stats. His penalties is at a 70. Okay, so 70, we'll put it like right here. It, it, you see what I'm saying? Like you go to the left, it still goes in the middle. <laughs> uh, it worked. It's a good way to fake out the opponent, eh? If, if they're like watching a stream or something. Oh man, that shot was actually not that bad from that angle. Did a good job right there. Okay guys, so this is gonna be the split between me doing the review for Kamavinga and doing uh, Kolosevsky at the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and give him the finisher chemistry style this time. So very obvious that you need to boost the agility and balance as much as possible for a card like this. I'll tell you guys this right now, man. I didn't even have that chemistry style on him and he was still performing really nicely. I really enjoy his attacking AI so far in that striker position, so. Okay, so this guy, uh, Volin, De Bruyne, okay. It's so probably like a 4-4-2, four, four, I'm assuming, because he has Hunter on Kaka and Neymar. Uh, it might be a 4-2-3-1-2. Two, two. We'll see. We're still using the three at the back because honestly, <laughs> if people score against me, I don't really care. It's just really fun to use. Oh, I just wanted to try a nice little powerful strike right there. I kind of I kind of get the feel with the card a little bit, you know? Kind of. Oof, I love that. The way that that comes off of his foot right there is very smooth. That slider with Lauren Blanc is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, the finisher is definitely more responsive for sure. Ooh, good dribbling there. Ball roll touch. Finesse shot from a distance. Yeah. Having the tray would definitely be very nice for those types of situations. But um, he's still good at taking them, man. You just have to take uh, those certain ones that may not require the traits for. Yeah, his dribbling's definitely been improved to that finisher. Very, very important to give him if you're using him in any of the attacking positions, for sure. With your weak foot? Oof. I don't expect his weak foot to come off, like, super strong, obviously, because it is a four-star. But, um, he still did okay right there. I like him as a striker, guys. He definitely moves really nicely, but for me, it's like... I don't know. His attacking AI is like really solid there. He makes really good angled runs, which is fantastic. I do love that. He's not like stagnant, which is nice. Uh, what I want to do now, though, is I want to try him as a cam. And then I might actually rotate him into the right mid position as well in the 3-5-2. Just to see what he's like there. But so far, man, um, the card's pretty cool. I, I thought he would feel worse. I felt like I would hate his dribbling more, you know? But uh, I don't. It's it's a really fun card to use. He's pretty solid. Oh, wow. I should have just shot that across goal right there. I'm telling you guys this right now. This card kind of surprised me. I, I really, really enjoy using his attacking AI. It's great. He gets into really good positions, man. I don't know what to tell you guys. I really should have shot that across goal first time for sure, but... Yeah, he's definitely the type of player for me personally, guys, that you can use in any of the attacking positions. Now, obviously, it'd be more ideal to use someone in the cam position that's a little bit more responsive, for sure. But other than that, it's it's pretty great, man. That sucks. That's just holding all trigger right there, too, away from kickoff. Yeah, that's just holding all trigger. I don't actually tackle here. I think you can actually like replay it and see if I press the button, because it would wind up, right? What are the odds he goes for the middle again? Like, this time we'll dive this way, and then we'll go this way. Ah, we almost got it. You can never really let these things upset you in this game, because I, I, I try to teach you guys. The game's kind of, like, irrelevant. Like, you just got to enjoy 
your general experience of playing the game as much as possible. The scoreboard is like, it's just an extra, right? The results, even in foot champs, I'm just like, hey man, get whatever you get, you know? Ah, uh, he's offside, right? He still moves so nicely though, man. I don't know what it is, dude. This card's sick. If we're if we're talking about like top tier meta, like obviously body type to dribbling, noticeable, but it's it's still good, you know? He surprised me, man. I, I really did think he was gonna be worse. Oh man. He's getting to a good position too. Does he have good free kicks? Does he have good free kicks? Power, free kick accuracy is 55. Bet. <laughs> Let's get this off. This off. Touch, finesse shot. Oof. Would have been nice, man. Would have been nice. Oh! Penalty. Come on. You can't do that, Voland. What are we saying? I'm going to do the same thing again. Imagine it works. Oh, I didn't want to go in the middle. I was like, oh, I don't know about this one. I don't know. Yeah, it should be a wrap. If it's team of the year, Ronaldo. You gotta, that last touch with the dash button, you have to really, really time when you let go of those things because it's, it's really, uh, they, they over, they overdo the touch every time when, when it's, uh, close to the goalkeeper. So you gotta be very careful of those ones for sure. And that's shot from that angle. Imagine, bro. That's a really low percentage strike, but I just wanted to see if he would be able to hit that. Nice. Alright guys, so final verdict on the Klozewski card. Um, I think EA did a pretty good job with him, to be honest with you. He low-key surprised me. He was actually really nice. His attacking AI is great, man. I was using him in the striker position, and I was like, wow, man, this card can really move across the pitch. You know? Even when I switched him to the camp position, I liked him there too. This is the type of card you can use in any of the attacking positions, 100%. 99 stamina. He's got 84 strength with the body type that he has. I really thought that I would be really annoyed by his high and average plus body type with a six foot one height. But honestly, dudes, it's not that big of a deal. Like you obviously still notice it, but I really feel like these three dribbling stats right here with the finisher chemistry style definitely compensate really well for it. Now, when I had the anchor chemistry style on him uh, for the first half of the review when I was checking out Kamavinga's card, um, I definitely noticed that I needed the dribbling boost in the card because of those really quick cut uh, little angles that I needed. But yeah, this is definitely one of those like really surprise factors where his body type height to dribbling stats didn't annoy me that much. Like it's noticeable, but it was super playable. Like his shooting is awesome. If you get the ball on his left foot and you go for a power strike, finesse shots are not going to come off consistently, obviously, because of him not having the trait, but he can still hit them really nicely like you guys saw. Uh, his power strikes, though, are super nice. Once you get used to how he charges up his shot, it's a great card, man. I, I think this card is better than the Flashback Ronaldo, 100%. 100%. 100%. He's really fun to use, man. I enjoyed him a lot. Juventus links, too, are really easy to work, work with because of um, Quadrado getting a card nowadays. So, yeah, he's low-key cracked, guys. He surprised me a lot, man. I thought I thought his body type and dribbling would annoy me more, but it didn't. Just feels like a... It kind of like feels like a Ronaldo with good dribbling. Not as good as Ronaldo, obviously, because that card is using this team of the year as a different breed. But, um, yeah, he's he's cool, man. I enjoy using him a lot. I really did. He surprised me a lot. It's really, really cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.